Authorities in Taiwan reportedly suspect a 45-year-old woman deliberately poisoned an Australian student to stop him returning home. According to Taiwanese media, she's being investigated for attempted homicide after Alex Shuri became severely ill in Taipei. While a friend has revealed new details about Alex's ordeal to Sky News and suggests he may have been attacked multiple times. Hi, so my name is Alex Shorey and I am from Australia. Alex Shorey in better times, teaching young Taiwanese students English and ancient history. Now, the Punic Wars uh, was a war between ancient Rome and Carthage. Soon after leading this online class, the 24-year-old Australian took a dramatic, near-fatal turn. I actually check on him. Along his bed is all the like, uh, tissues with blood and even the pillows all covered by blood. Ellie Chen, an employer and friend, revealed to Sky News new details regarding the case, which has made global headlines. It was Ellie who took Alex to the emergency room after he complained of severe stomach pain and constant bleeding. Doctors initially believed it was food poisoning, then suggested it was a genetic issue. I don't buy it, because <laughs> it doesn't make sense for me. Alex's condition improved, but only briefly. He was in and out of hospital for around four weeks. In text messages seen by Sky News, he said he'd been urinating blood for a long time now and was going to a specialist for another checkup. Eventually, he received a conclusive diagnosis. He had inadvertently ingested rat poison. I also told him that, Alex, since you're better right now, I suggest you should go back to Australia as soon as possible. And he said, no, I can't, I, I can't hang in there. And then uh, just give me two more weeks, I will get back and work. Ellie had spent one night monitoring Alex at his home and suggested he stay with her and her family. Hey, it's okay, I haven't been home for a long time, Alex wrote. I'm staying at a friend's place. That friend was this 45-year-old Taiwanese woman. She has reportedly confessed to adding poison to a drink meant for herself, but which Alex mistakenly drank. Local media report an empty poison bottle was discovered at her property, and Ellie suspects there was more than one incident. If things getting bad, why are you getting worse? So what happened between the end of March and the early of April? It doesn't make sense to me because once they figure out that's a rat, rat, rat poison, why the things will go like this way, right? The 45-year-old suspect has been banned from leaving Taiwan. Taiwanese media outlets are reporting she's also been investigated over the possible purchase of illegal synthetic drugs. Alex left Taiwan last week in a specialist medical plane thanks to money raised in a GoFundMe campaign. His family say he had a severe reaction to his initial treatment and that he may not be alive today had it not been for the specialist care. Neither the Shorey family nor Mrs Chen blame doctors or hospital staff in Taipei for what happened to Alex. They also do not suggest malpractice. While Alex recovers in a Brisbane hospital, his many Taiwanese friends pray for his health and for his return. He made all the kids love him. Let's say if we still have a chance to see him again, but it's in a healthier situation, that would be fantastic. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News in Taipei.